Okay guys, this is going to be a very quick kind of update. I'm just doing this from my phone. I know that I haven't really had um, many updates recently, but there's been a lot of things happening in my life. Uh, I may make a vlog about that at some point and, and make a proper promise to you guys that I'm going to get back into the game. But for now, I just thought I'd show you guys this. A friend of mine just dropped this off to my house. Um, big box of stuff. He says there might be some games and stuff in it. He said a friend of his had it in storage for a while, but he's moving now. He doesn't really have the storage anymore. Um, so he was going to dump it, but he managed to rescue a couple of things. He says there might be some Nintendo stuff in here. I'm not too sure. Um, but let's see. This is all totally for free, by the way. So uh, score. So let's see. Oh, straight away. Nintendo GameCube. Excellent. And in fantastic condition as well. I'll just put this over here, next to my steak, that I'm going to have for dinner in a minute. Um, manuals and everything. Sweet! And I still, do I still have a points card? I still have a points card. Back when it was still called Nintendo VIP. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, a couple of GameCube games, uh, Rogue Leader, um, Bomberman. Excellent. Just put these, put this bit of the box down here. Oh, no way! Super Game Boy! Does that mean there's a SNES in here as well? Sonic Mega Mix, excellent. What else do we have? Super Monkey Ball, fantastic. With the original price sticker still on it as well. What's that underneath it as well? The Super Monkey Ball, that's... Oh, Super Monkey Ball 1 and Super Monkey Ball 2, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Super Mario Sunshine! I've been wanting to play this for years. That is excellent. And what else do we have? Pikmin as well, on top of a SNES! Fantastic! So what do we have here? We have Starwing, which is what Star Fox was called over here, I'm not too sure why. Uh, Micro Machines, actually look at the condition of these boxes as well. Fantastic! You couldn't keep, that, keep those in better condition if you tried. Batman Forever, perfect Toy Story, excellent game on the, uh, on the Mega Drive, I'm sure it's just as good on the SNES. This doesn't look like it's even ever been opened. It's not sealed, but I mean, it's it, it. the cardboard feels tight. That's excellent. And Donkey Kong Country, of course. I've always wanted to play this. Never played it before, not even on an emulator. So that'll be good. Box is a bit frayed, so obviously that's had a fair bit of use. Half of a million GameCube control. Oh, there's more SNES games here. Loose. Super Mario World, fantastic. Let's have a look at these. We'll bring these over to my dinner. Beside the GameCube. So we have Beauty and the Beast. Uh, yeah, I might sell that to the rage. Um, oh, Star Trek. Starfleet Academy, excellent. That's supposed to be really good. I've never played that before either. Um, Mickey Mania is also supposed to be really, really good. Haven't played that yet either. Um, the Great Circus Mystery, I'm not sure. Never really heard of it, but it was developed by Capcom, so it can't be too bad. And then, uh, I, guess I, I guess this is my shell for getting an EverDrive. <laughs> FIFA. Um, is there anything left? Um, oh, proper RGB, official proper RGB SCART cable for the GameCube. This is some hull. I owe my friend so much alcohol. A um, couple of controllers for the SNES. And of course, the European controllers, which look exactly like Japanese controllers. And the SNES itself. Let's have a look here. It's a bit dusty, but it is in immaculate condition. There's no yellowing. It's very clean. Oh, I'm so, so happy.